Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're just going to look at setting the cursor in Java. So at the moment I've got this uh, progress dialog that comes up and just as an example of setting the cursor I'm going to set the cursor to a weight cursor when the dialog's showing and I'm going to set it back to the default system cursor when the dialog's gone and it's very important of course to restore the cursor after changing it. So in my progress dialog, I've got this override and set visible method. Uh, and this is a good place, uh, in this case, to set the cursor. So I'll say if visible, we'll set the cursor to a uh, weight cursor. And if we're setting it to invisible, we're hiding the dialog, then I'm going to set it back to the ordinary, um, to the ordinary cursor. So here, all you have to do is say, um, every swing component has a set cursor method, and that's the one that you want to use, so it's pretty simple. And to set cursor, you need to pass a cursor. So uh, I'm going to say cursor dot get predefined cursor. And then here I need to pass in a static um, int uh, constant of the cursor class, and there's a bunch you can use, and I'm going to use um, weight cursor down here. And you, you can see from the autocomplete there, there's, there's quite a variety of different cursors. And when the dialog goes away again, when, when visible is set to false, I'm going to call um, set cursor cursor dot get um, default cursor there. And let's just take a look at that. So now when my dialog comes up, I've got a weight cursor over the dialog. Now you might want to set the weight cursor over the um, over your um, application as a whole, in which case you need to call set cursor for this J frame or for let's say this panel here. But for the moment, I'll content myself with just having this weight cursor over the dialog. And um, if you want to set the cursor elsewhere, it's very easy to do. Just call set cursor on the appropriate component or the whole frame if you want. Um, OK, so that's it for this tutorial. And uh, next time, we're going to look at nesting, um, nesting split panes. So join me again then. And until then, happy coding.